Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe our channel uh, for more Seven Engineering daily updates. Today our topic is about uh, related to geotechnical engineering and uh, soil mechanics. And today our topic is about the phase diagram of the soil sample. So, what is the phase diagram? Actually, this is a soil sample we see and. Uh, uh, this is a very detailed view of the soil sample and phase diagram shows that there are uh, three phases uh, of the soil sample. Actually, uh, the soil comprises of the three uh, main parts. It's a solid part, and then there's a water part, a liquid part, and then there's air. Uh, we can say there's empty spaces represented by the air, right? So, uh, this is a phase diagram of the soil sample and uh, everywhere this, uh, this is the model of soil sample everywhere you will see this type of phase diagram uh, of soil sample so in which the volume of the soil uh, solid uh, is represented solid mass of the soil uh, represented by vs and the uh, volume of the water is the water portion it's represented by the vw and the volume of the air is represented by va and the total volume of the soil sample is represented by vt while the volume of the wires because it's uh, without the presence of um, solids we have the air in as well as the water and we represent it by the volume of the wires right so this is the volume of the wires so uh, we will discuss here the volumetric ratios or uh, this is the heading that we will discuss now the volumetric ratios of the phase diagram you can say so the first one is the wide ratio. It's very important, uh, the wide ratio. And wide ratio shows, uh, in terms of the ratio, that how much wires, uh, that how much wires are present in this soil mass, in this soil sample, right? So we can represent it by E, wide ratio, and its formula is volume of wires, volume of wires, divided by the volume of solid sorry volume of solid volume of the wires will represent it by uh, VB while the volume of solid is represented by Vs so the E the wide ratio is equal to the volume of the wires and divided by the volume of the solids so we get the wide ratio that how much wires are present in this soil sample in this phase diagram of the soil sample so we will get uh, we will know about the wide ratio how much wide are present in terms of ratio right so the second one is the porosity uh, it's also very important and porosity in terms of percentage and n represented by n so porosity is equal to the the volume of volume of wires volume of wires is the volume of wires and we divide by the total volume of the soil sample right volume of soil sample it means the volume of the wires is represented by vv while the volume of so total volume of the soil sample is represented by vt and we multiply it by 100 because porosity is represented in percentage right so this is the uh, porosity uh, we now uh, from porosity we know that how much pores are present in this soil sample uh, the whole soil sample we uh, can know about the how much pores are there in terms of percentage and the formula is volume of wires how much wires are there we can we calculate the volume and we divide by the total volume of the sample so we know that the, how much pores are there in the soil sample which are um, we can say empty right so the third one uh, is also very really important it's called degree of saturation we represented by s and it's also in terms of percentage and its formula is s is equal to the uh, total volume total volume of wires wires contain water and total volume of wires contain water right it's the volume of the wides, there's the volume of the wides, but we now the portion which contains water. So this is only okay. 
and in we divide by the total volume of the wires the volume of wires so we can see that the now we uh, should represent it by in terms of mm -hmm. alphabetic order so total volume of whites contain water there's a total volume of the whites but in terms of water which contains only water so there's only portion vw right vw and total volume of the whites divided by total volume of the whites is vv vv in terms of percentage we multiply by 100 so this is the degree of saturation right is we can say represented by s in terms of percentage uh, this is also in terms of percentage so the degree of saturation presented by s and it's equal to the total volume of the whites containing water only this portion divided by the total volume of the whites so we can know how much this soil is saturated right it's very also very important to know about the degree of saturation in a water sample we can say so this was all about the you know, phase diagram of the soil sample it's very important this terminology is very important the wide ratio and uh, we uh, that we can know about the how much wires are present in terms of ratio and this simple soil sample so we divide the volume of wires and divide by the total volume of the solid and the volume of the solids only so we can know about the wires and we can know about the porosity similarly in terms of percentage and similarly we can know about the degree of saturation right you know how much saturated this soil sample is so now uh, if you have any question um, you can comment it we will get uh, into you very soon and we are also uploading more topics related to soil mechanics uh, engineering and uh, please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you